Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we will examine Carl Jung's thoughts on how to own yourself. Carl Jung is considered one of the most influential psychologists of the 20th century and left a considerable mark on the world of psychology. However, Jung was not only a psychologist. It has also been a great source of inspiration in terms of delving into the depths of people. Carl Gustav Jung was a Swiss psychoanalyst and psychologist. By developing the theory of analytical psychology, he emphasized the importance of focusing on the deeper layers of the human mind and exploring the inner world of the individual. Jung's works have been an essential guide for people to understand themselves and discover their true potential. According to Jung, to own themselves, people must embark on their inner journey and comfort the subconscious aspects he calls shadow. The shadow represents hidden or repressed emotions and thoughts the person does not want to acknowledge. Owning yourself begins with facing and accepting this shadow. At the same time, Jung's concept of archetype is also essential. Archetypes are universal symbols and motifs and represent common elements of human experience. Jung's work helps us understand how these archetypes play a role in our personal development and dreams. In this video, we will look at Carl Jung's thoughts, explain why owning yourself is so important and explore how you can integrate Jung's ideas into your daily life. We will also discuss Jung's contributions to psychology and personal development. So, are you ready for the journey into the fascinating world of Carl Jung? So, let's get started. The Life and Works of Carl Jung First, let's take a look at the life and work of Carl Jung. Carl Gustav Jung was born on July 26, 1875 in Kusna, Switzerland. Jung's childhood and youth were shaped by his interest in nature, dreams, and curiosity about myths. This early interest laid the foundations for his future career in psychology. Jung studied medicine at the University of Zurich and specialized in psychiatry. When he was introduced to Sigmund Freud's psychoanalysis theories, psychology had stepped into a significant turning point. His collaboration with Freud formed the basis of Jung's contributions to psychology. However, Jung had some theoretical differences with Freud and parted ways. Jung began to develop his theory which he called analytical psychology. This new approach focused on people's personal and collective consciousness, dreams, myths and symbols instead of the sexual impulses emphasized by Freud. Carl Jung's works aimed to go beyond psychology and delve into the spiritual depths of people. Jung emphasized the importance of exploring the individual's inner world and owning oneself. In his eyes, people can only be delighted and fulfilled if they discover their internal privacy. One of Jung's permanent concepts is shadow. The shadow represents repressed emotions and thoughts in one's subconsciousness. According to Jung, owning oneself begins with confronting and accepting this shadow. Additionally, Jung's works is full of archetypes. Archetypes are universal symbols and motifs and represent common elements of human experience. According to Jung, archetypes appear in our dreams, myths, and stories. These ubiquitous symbols help people access their spiritual depths. Carl Jung is an essential figure in psychology, and his theory of analytical psychology still serves as a resource for many psychologists and personal development experts today. His work has helped people understand themselves, embark on inner journeys, and live more conscious lives. 
Carl Jung continues to remain in memory as an unforgettable figure with his outstanding contributions to psychology and personal development. Discovering Yourself – Carl Jung's Concepto Shadow Now let's begin to understand why knowing yourself is so important, focusing on Carl Jung's Concepto the Shadow. This concept of Jung represents an essential step in our personal development journey. Carl Jung's concept of shadow refers to repressed or rejected aspects of person's subconscious. These aspects often manifest as feelings, thoughts, and behaviors that the person does not want to accept. Jung argues that people should recognize and accept these shadows. So why? Here is the answer to this question. 1. Fully understanding yourself Without understanding the shadow, it's difficult to understand who you are and why you are experiencing certain emotions or thoughts. With a complete understanding of yourself, your personal growth may be expanded. 2. Balance and wholeness. According to Jung, facing the shadow helps you regain inner balance and wholeness. Accept yourself. Emotion is the basis of emotional and mental integrity. 3. Personal development. Facing the shadow is part of your personal development. This process helps you mature, grow internally, and become more conscious. 4. Communication and Relationships Understanding your shadow can help you be more understanding and open in relationships. Exploring your inner world to understand the thoughts and feelings of others better can help you build healthier relationships. Carl Jung's concept of the shadow plays an essential role in personal development and self-discovery. This concept helps people take steps towards owning their true selves and living a more conscious life. Now, let's move on another important aspect of Jung's theory, considering the concept of archetype. Archetypes and Collective Consciousness – Jung's Views on Archetypes now, let's try to understand the power of these universal symbols and considering Carl Jung's concept of archetype. According to Jung, archetypes are part of our collective consciousness and represent universal elements of human experience. This concept is an essential component of Jung's psychological theory. Carl Jung defines archetypes as part of the collective consciousness. Collective consciousness refers to a field that includes people's everyday experiences, symbols, and motifs. Archetypes are universal symbols that shape this collective consciousness and are found in all cultures and periods. Why are archetypes so essential and why did Carl Jung attach such great importance to them? Here are the reasons. 1. Universal and common experiences. Archetypes represent the fundamental experiences that all people share. This ensures that archetypes are common across different cultures and societies. 2. Dreams and myths. According to Jung, archetypes frequently appear in dreams and myths. These symbols are used to convey messages in people's subconscious. Jung's dream analysis is a crucial tool for understanding the role of archetypes in dreams. 3. Personal Development Understanding archetypes is essential in the personal development journey. People can live a more conscious and balanced life by learning how to integrate archetypes into their own lives. 4. Art and Creativity Archetypes form the basis of art, literature, and other creative expressions. Artists and creators can express universal themes and emotions using archetypes. Jung's views on archetypes go beyond psychology and focus on human collective consciousness and universal experiences. 
Archetypes help people reach their spiritual depths and contribute to their personal development. Now, let's look at how we can integrate these concepts into our daily lives by going through the steps of putting Jung's theory into practice. Practical Advice Some steps you can use to begin the process of owning yourself. Once you understand and grasp Carl Jung's views on the concept of shadow and archetypes, there are some practical steps to begin owning yourself. Here are some of these steps. 1. Dream Analysis Using Carl Jung's concept of dream analysis, begin examining your dreams. Your dreams may express archetypes and your shadows. Record your goals by keeping a diary and get help from an expert to understand what these dreams mean. 2. Examine your own emotional experiences. Take time to understand your emotional experiences. Ask yourself these questions. What emotions I'm suppressing? What feelings seem difficult or unacceptable to me? The answers to these questions can guide you in discovering yourself. 3. Meditation and Awareness Meditation and awareness exercises can help you discover your inner world. These practices help you better understand your emotional experiences and establish a closer relationship with yourself. 4. Harness the power of art and expression. Art, writing, music, or other creative expressions are powerful tools to express your inner world. Find a creative way to express yourself. Painting, writing poetry, or playing an instrument can help you tell your inner world. 5. Psychotherapy and Counseling Working with psychotherapist or counselor can support your process of owning yourself. Professional help can help you better understand your shadows and archetypes. 6. Tell your own story By writing your life story or telling it to others, you can better understand your personal history and inner development. Being aware of your own life story can strengthen your sense of self. Owning your true self is personal and can be different for everyone. These steps can help you choose the ones that are right for you. Carl Jung's ideas and practices can help you experience this process more consciously and meaningfully. Move forward with patience and self-confidence on this journey of owning yourself. Closing and Talks How to integrate Carl Jung's talks into your daily life Thank you for watching this video. We hope to guide you on your journey to understanding Carl Jung's thoughts and owning yourself. Finally, despite the complexity of Carl Jung's thoughts, it's possible to integrate them into your daily life. Owning your true self is a constant process of learning and growing. Jung's theory can help you make this journey more meaningful and profound. We hope this video has helped you better understand Carl Jung's thoughts and inspired you on your journey to owning yourself. If you liked this video, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Also, if you want more content on Carl Jung or similar topics, let us know in the comments. Feedback from you will help us produce better content. Thank you and take care until the next video.